Good day everyone, I'm your teacher Georgie and I will discuss to you the week 5 of grade 8 mathematics module. Week 5 is all about graphing linear equation and two variables. After going through this lesson, you are expected to write the linear equation ax plus by equals c in the form y equals to mx plus b and vice versa and also graph a linear equation given in any two points the x and y intercept and the slope in a point on the line babalikan muna natin ang mga property of equality na makakatulong sa lesson na to the first one is addition property of equality it states that Adding the same number to each side of an equation gives us an equivalent equation. If a, b, and c are real numbers and a equals to b, then a plus c equals to b plus c or a minus c equals to b minus c. Multiplication property of equality states that multiplying both sides of the equation with the same number gives us an equivalent equation. If a, b, and c are real numbers and a equals to b, then a, c equals to b, c. a over c is equal to b, c. These properties of equality are used to change the standard form of linear equation in two variables, ax plus by equals to c, and to slope intercept form of the equation y equals to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the value of y where the graph crosses the y-axis. Let us try this example. Number 1. Change y minus x equals to 4 to slope intercept form. Determine the slope and the y-intercept. y minus x equals to 4. We use addition property of equality or the APE. So, mag a tayo both sides ng x. Magiging y minus x plus x equals x plus 4. So, negative x plus x, cancel na siya kasi unlike sign, automatic cancel. So, natira na lang y equals to x plus 4. Pero may ibang way din ng pag-solve. Y minus X equals 4 Transpose negative X sa kabilang side Magiging positive Kaya magiging Y equals to X plus 4 Ang slope niya or the M is equivalent to positive 1 And the Y intercept is positive 4 Example number 2 Change 2X plus 3Y equals 9 To slope intercept form Find the slope again and the Y intercept 2x plus 3y equals 9. Apply again APE or addition property of equality by subtracting 2x to both sides of the equation. 2x minus 2x plus 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. 3y equals to negative 2x plus 9. So, yun na lang ang natira kasi 2x minus 2x ay cancel na siya or 0. Apply MPE. So, multiplication property of equality. 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. Multiply both sides by 1 third. So, 1 third times 3y equals 1 third minus 2x plus 9. So, 1 third times 3y, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, ang natira na lang ay y. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then, copy the denominator 3. Then, positive 9 divided by 3, that is positive 3. Or, we can change it or finding the slope in the y-intercept using these steps. 2x plus 3y equals 9. Transpose positive 2x to the other side, magiging negative 2x. So, 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. Then, divided by 3 both sides. So, magiging 3y over 3 equals negative 2x plus 9 over 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Magiging y na lang siya. Negative 2 divided by 3x. Then, plus 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. So, 
So, the answer is y equals to negative 2 over 3x plus 3. Ang slope niya ay negative 2 over 3 and the y-intercept is positive 3. Remember, to convert from ax plus by plus c equals to 0 to y equals to mx plus b, we need only to solve for y in terms of x. Let us try learning task number 1. Change the given equation into slope-intercept form y equals to mx plus b. Then, determine the slope and the y-intercept. Example number 1, y minus 3x plus 2. We write it in standard form, y minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Then, transpose negative 3x and positive 2 sa kabilang side. So, from negative 3x, magiging positive 3x. Then, from positive 2, ay magiging negative 2. So, the answer is y equals to 3x minus 2. The slope or the m is equal to positive 3 and the y-intercept is equal to negative 2. In graphing linear equations in two variables. Letter A. Given in a two point, use two points 5, 0 and 0 and 1. Find the slope of the line containing the given points. The slope which means m equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, we substitute the values. m equals to 0 minus 1 over 5 minus 0. 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. 5 minus 0 is equal to positive 5. So, m is equal to negative 1 over 5. Or, pwede din naman magkapalit. m equals to 1 minus 0 over 0 minus 5. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So, the answer is negative 1 over 5. Checking through the graphs by plotting to the given points from 5 and 0, the run is 5 and the rise is 1. The line crosses the y-axis at 0 and 1, so the intercept is 1. That the line will fall to the right is negative 1 over 5. 1 is the rise and 5 is the run. In writing the equation in slope-intercept form, y equals to mx plus b, so the answer is y equals to negative 1 over 5x plus 1. Letter B. Given the x and y intercepts, x intercept the point x and 0 where the line crosses the x-axis. y intercept the point is 0 and y where the line crosses the y-axis. Meron tayong mga dapat tandaan to graph a line using this method. Number 1, find the x-intercept by letting y equals to 0 and solving for x. Number 2, find the y-intercept by letting x equals to 0 and solving for y. Then number 3, plot both intercepts on the graph and connect with a straight line. Let us try this example. Find the x and y intercept of 2x plus y equals to 4. If x equals to 0, substitute the value of x in the equation to find the value of y. So, 2x plus y equals to 4. 2 times 0 plus y equals to 4. 2 times 0 is 0 plus y equals to 4. So, ang natira na lang, y equals to 4. If y equals to 0, substitute the value of y in the equation 2x plus 0 equals to 4. Then, 2x equals to 4 divided both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 equals 4 divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Copy the variable x. Then, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, the answer is x equals to 2. The two ordered pairs are 0 and 4 and 2 and 0. We plot the ordered pairs sa graph. So, unahin natin ang 0 and 4. So, from the origin, aakit tayo pataas ng apat na beses. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, that is the first ordered pairs. Then, sa 2 and 0 naman, pakana naman tayo ng dalawang beses. 1 and 2. So, that is the second ordered pairs, the 2 and 0. So, lastly, the slope and the point of the line. Ito yung mga dapat natin tandaan. Plot the given points 
Number two, generate additional points on the line by starting at the given point x and y and moving the rise and run of the slope. Let us try this example. m is equal to 2 and the point is negative 3 and negative 2. m equals to 2 equals to 2 over 1. So, bakit nagkaroon ng over 1? Lahat ng whole numbers ay may over 1 talaga. So, the rise is 2 and the run is 1. From the given points negative 3 and negative 2, move 1 unit horizontally, 2 units upward. The point is negative 2 and 0. Then, after that, connect the two points. Let us try learning task number 2. Write the linear equation ax plus b y equals c in the form y equals to mx plus b. Example, 3x plus 4y equals to a. Transpose positive 3x to the other side. So, magiging 4y equals to negative 3x plus 8. Then, divided both sides by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. Copy the variable y. Negative 3 over 4. Then, copy variable x. Then, 8 divided by 4 or 8 over 4 is positive 2. So, the answer is y equals to negative 3x over 4 plus 2. Letter B. Write the linear equation y equals to mx plus b in the form ax plus by equals c. Example, y equals to positive 3x minus 3. So, ang gagawin lang natin, transpose positive 3x pa sa kabilang side. So, magiging negative 3x plus y equals to negative 3. So, the final answer is negative 3x plus y equals to negative 3. Sana may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na ito. That's all for today. Enjoy learning!